All right, guys. We have here my Bitcoin weekly chart. So a lot has happened. Huh? We have a lot of possibilities. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so this weekly chart here, we have the 21 EMA it has crossed it. As I as I said yesterday, this is not definitive, right? We have this this uh, puntative here crossing, but it's not really decisive, not yet, okay? But it might mean uh, we need more time in order to decide what is this, if this is gonna bounce back and continue here uh, below the below this this level here and it means that this is still a bearish uh, momentum here at the MACD okay um, the daily chart as yes, the daily chart is um, what <laughs> interesting right because we crawl uh, we finished the day yesterday below the 200 but this was this was obvious and but we had this this uh we tried to cross the this the 100 ema and the 21 ema but without success right we pulled back we tried but we pulled back but we started day to day and we have this spinning top and we are sitting exactly at the 100 ema now and this is a spinning top uh, more or less a spinning top but the day has yet to, to finish right uh, and what is this this is a hammer right or it's a op opposite of a hammer right um, so an inverted hammer right uh, I'm not that good <laughs> at uh, candlestick patterns I don't remember I'm, I need always to look at the names but it is okay right <laughs> So, as I said yesterday, the 21 EMA here, crossing here at the 100, this is a good sign as it has crossed here the 55 EMA. But what we have here for days is, uh, it's the, is, it seems that the bears are in control, right? They are like, uh, not in control, but remember that this is like, a, this is what we should expect. Yeah, if you are like, mm, if you are like every time you have a movement, you're gonna say, "Oh, now we are in a bearish market." Or every time you have a, a upside momentum, you say, "Hey, we are in a bullish moment." This is not like you're gonna be changing your your mind every time, okay? Because that's that's what happens. We go up and then we go down. We go up and then we go down. This is basically what we we have for. All, as, all assets okay name one that it, it's not like this and then you are you're naming something that is not worth investing okay so this is a crucial moment because as i said yesterday we might have a pattern that is like this one here okay that would be a one two three four five finishing this structure here down okay might be something like this okay one two three four then we would have a a five structure yeah a motive impulse wave down here okay. we need to label this differently yes i haven't i haven't decided yet what it would means for my uh, what it would mean for this whole count here for this whole structure if we go down here okay it's a possibility it's a real possibility yes we have this sharp correction here okay this a b c and then we have this sideways correction here this can be an a b in a running c here for an x no this if you name this as an x here i i think you are you are pushing it okay you are this is not even touched the 23 percent of retracement of the wave w here if we don't go as high as 
fifty percent, at least twelve hundred here. We can't really name this thing X, okay? So in this case, I would I would disregard this whole count here. Yes, that's what I do. I I reconsider my count, okay? I would need to reconsider my whole count, and then what we would have would be a a b c i, I don't like this is not a triangle okay because we have those lower lows here okay and then we would need a lower low here as well that is is interesting right we need to understand what's happening here we have i like this pattern that I've drawn here that is a, 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 a expanded flat a b c we have this A, B, and a C here going up here for an X. Then, the, the, then, then this geometry of this whole movement would look like really nice. But who am I to say what the market has to do? I don't, the market doesn't care about us. And the market doesn't care about Elliott waves or about anything. The market, it's dynamic and it's... It's not. It's not. It's not behaving according to what to whatever theory that you are using. It's. It's like we are chasing the market here, using our theories to make sense of it. But in reality, the market is dynamic and it's working according to so many variables. It's so complex that we can't really understand it completely. What we can do is, as I have been saying, we can give polite guesses. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so it, it's a crucial moment, right? Uh, if you look at this whole movement here, it looks like we have a, a wave one here, right? One, two, and then we'll have a three here. Um, but when you look at my our, our chart, one hour chart we see that we don't have finished the this is a tree okay and i'm making the case that we have an a b c here to finish this 50 percent to get to this 50 percent here okay 50 percent of what guys from this this build from this two here to this tree okay this is the retracement tool okay i have been using it like all the time so, and then we have this 50% here, which is, which would be our support, a strong support, if this is what's happening. Right? So, in, term, in terms of a, of a trader, okay, so this is a really good setup. Okay? Doesn't matter. If you are looking for a place to buy, I would buy here, of course I would buy here, why? Because here we have our risk reward, yes, I would target of this resistance as my selling point. Why? Why not higher? Because I don't care about if it goes higher, I would enter again the market. Remember guys, we need to be conservative and waves 5 can be truncated. Wave five. This would be a wave 5, the final wave of this this white degree here okay so it can be like <laughs> can go like really shy at uh, 8300 8, okay and then we would have a you know, unfortunately we would have a bad a bad wave five. not a bad but a, uh, a shallow wave five and then if you don't don't take your profit <laughs> it's you're you're doing something that it's risky yeah? So I would enter here at this at those levels here where I marked with the green. And I would have a really tight stop loss. Okay, I would put my stop loss below this this fourth wave here of a lower degree. As I said yesterday, uh, a really nice spot for a, a, a wave of a of a wave four of a higher degree to uh, to retrace is to retrace to the previous region price region of a lower degree wave four okay so here we have i'm sorry here we have our wave four and we have the lowest price here which is uh i'm sorry let me see which is 7200 
Okay, I'm gonna target my stop loss 71.87. Okay, that is it. That's it. Okay, that would cross the 50%. You see, the 50% retracement, which is the the sweet spot for a uh, wave four. And then I would put my risk reward here, uh, my my stop loss here. Okay, my risk reward would be like uh, the average here. Put here. I would start buying. As we get close to this 50%, so that's why I have these three, or even you can split those buys here 10%, yeah, 50, 10%, uh, 5%. And then you have an average here, and you have your stop loss here, and you have your target here. I will target a little bit lower than the third wave here, and you have a risk reward of seven. Beautiful, easy, it's a rare moment okay to enter the market it's a one of these rare moments that we are waiting for to, to, to uh, that you have a reasonable risk reward that's not gonna if you if you fail in this case oh it's stop you get stop it here not a problem you're gonna lose a lot of money relative to the amount of money that you can make okay it's a seven risk reward ratio so really, and if you are confident that this is gonna go higher, you can always stretch this thing. But I would be conservative. Okay, that's it. It's a really easy setup. Really easy, easy, easy setup that we have for Bitcoin now. Okay, even though I don't like to play waves four, when you have a setup like this, it's a, it's telling us that okay, if it, breaks down here this 7100 and it goes down okay i'm gonna reconsider my whole count and i'm gonna position myself in a way that i'm gonna enter the market and short it that's it that's how we do i'm playing this market for the long haul yeah, for in 10 years i i have been saying this i plan to be here in 10 years trading okay <laughs> and uh, trading in in, in holding some coins uh, investing in this market so why not right let, let, let's let's be conservative in my opinion right that's my style this is a really beautiful setup in, in my opinion um maybe we have something different definitely i'm always expect i am i'm always expect to be wrong guys always because that way if something goes against me, I I have my stop loss and I can go out. I, I don't need to expose myself to the market uh, in a way that I don't like. Okay, this is my Bitcoin setup and it's pretty clear. It's not new. I think if you have watched other analysts, they have pretty much the same setup. Okay, it's uh, so and that's one thing to bear in mind if. If you have other analysts with the same setup, what the markets usually do, <laughs> and it goes the opposite way, right? <laughs> if everyone is expecting this, what's really easy to happen? It goes down. Oh, we are all waiting for this to, to, to hit here and go up. So <laughs> you're going to have a lot of people playing against it. Okay, let, let's face it. That that's how the market is. That's how the the players are. We are playing uh, sort of a a nasty game against really uh, big players that has a lot of money and they can have they can use a lot of leverage to understand that a lot of analysts are 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 uh, seeing this as an opportunity, but they are gonna play against it. To catch our stop losses here and profit okay even though i know that however that may be i'm not I, i'm not gonna be scared i'm gonna play this because this is a good trade this is my philosophy my way of trading okay and i get stop stop it here i'm not gonna be broken or whatever i'm gonna be happy because i have this stop loss and i'm gonna play again i'm gonna short the market Okay, um, here we have the same thing for EOS. I think EOS is an even better, even, it's an even better uh, setup because we have this wave two here. 
it's a clear wave too. I, I, I'm sorry for the mess here. Let me take this. this let me wipe out this a, a lot of fib extensions that I was calculating. <sighs> so really basic without even thinking about Elliott waves. Okay, without even thinking about Elliott waves, what we know. We know that we have this low here, this local low here, okay? This is six bucks fifty-five, fifty-three. Okay, we have this local low here. We are approaching it, okay? We had this moment here that we that we touched this resistance here, okay? Let's call it. Uh, this was a this was the local high, okay? By the way, it was the previous. The previous high of this wave four okay so elliott wave is not arbitrary guys okay even though something even though we have some people that think that is totally arbitrary no we are looking for confluences we are looking for information for data okay data is <laughs> what we use to try to make sense of this whole thing here and here we have what i am proposing is a w x y okay oh my goodness eh? it's so messy let me zoom this thing here just for you guys to understand what i'm talking about here we have this is our one and then we have this w x y a really a flat complex correction for this wave two of course waiting for bitcoin that's why eh? this is waiting the, every if you look at all the others all the other coins, the altcoins, you're gonna see that they are waiting for for the Bitcoin. So we have this C. So of course we have an A, B, C here. To finish, we have the 127 here. But if we get to the, the 127, we are gonna break this low here and it, it's gonna invalidate this count. So I don't think we're gonna get there. That's why we are now retracing to below the 7860%. This is the, my retracement from this whole movement here. Okay, from this top here, from I'm sorry, from this bottom here to this top, we have this retracement too. Okay, here. And we are now sitting below the 7860%. Okay, we are touching the, the I'm good. let me sh change this to the left. Okay, here we have the 8087. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Left. And uh, here we have the 8087. We touched it, but we pulled back. Now we have almost, if you look at here, almost uh, a double bottom. It's trying to touch it again. Okay. And here we have the 100% of the extension for our A, a B. And the extension of 100% of wave A is here for our wave C to finish this whole movement. If we touch it here, okay, this would be our the limit, okay. Here you have the my buys, my my. If I'm if I'm gonna consider laddering my buys because I'm gonna definitely enter this buy this 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 uh, setup here because it's even better than Bitcoin. You have a clear stop loss here at the bottom of this thing here of this allegedly wave five here why allegedly because it might not be a wave five simple deal with it okay so then we have a stop loss here and you have if you buy here now you have a a nice target here of minus 33 60 percent of this fee retracement here man it's a 10 it's a risk reward of 10 if again two really good setups if you enter it and you of course we need to we have a lot of ifs if we start picking up volume here picking up the momentum here and, and going up I, I might consider adding more to my position and put uh, higher targets here yes but it's for a reasonable okay if i want if i want to be really reasonable i would target the 90 bucks here we try to break it and if we failed because of and then we have this x here we tried to break it and we failed okay our risk reward risk reward ratio of seven it's okay then you take your profit okay next movement next trade look for your next trade a good trade a, a good opportunity of trade 
here you have the CMF telling us that what? When, when it gets to the zero, we have a momentum, okay? It's when we enter, well, when it gets to zero, we might as well, we have this whole momentum here, downwards, but when it gets to zero, we will see some kind of movement up or down. We have this kind of line that I've drawn here. What the CMF is showing us, guys, is the, the smart money or, or the, the institutional money, okay? The institutional, the, the institutional money is the money that really makes this huge movements here. That it's significant for the market. We are not. We don't have enough money. So when it touch it, zero, we're going to see that it's going to be lateral. It's going to be like not really doing much. And then we are going to see a movement. If we touch this line again, because this is kind of a resistance here, then we are going to go down again and go down until we don't have space and we're going to broke it. Either up or down, like we had here. Okay? You can trade just based upon the CMF, yeah? When it gets to zero, when it gets to zero, you, you have this movement here, you see that you have a dump. Yeah, you had a shy movement up and then it goes to zero, and we goes to zero and then you have a dump, see? The dump here, the dump, 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 dump. This whole movement here, okay? This movement here was not significant, okay? This movement here, not at all, okay? Nothing, it was just a, a little bit. But when we touch it again, we are, we, we are, uh, waiting for it to touch it and have some kind of movement here and perhaps break this line here then I would be confident that this is done this fifth wave here but if we break if we touch it make a small hump here and go down okay this is gonna mean that we, we have our stop loss here and we would have this wouldn't happen we would have a, a, a bearish count okay and that's it we are gonna, I'm gonna exit this trade, okay? Stop loss is here, just to make us safe, okay? Okay, so this is my two setup. I'm presenting two different setups. I'm not presenting a shorting, uh, a setup where I'm gonna be expecting, okay, why I'm not shorting now? Uh, why I wouldn't short? Because it's, you don't, uh, the, the 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 daily chart is showing us that we have a bit of momentum to go up okay we have this cross of the 55 we have this cross of the 100 here okay this is the EMA okay I have chance of getting this moment of getting this bullish momentum that I'm proposing here to get this wave three here that's why I'm not shorting I, I'm not gonna short now here that I see a lot of red I'm not going to be scared and say oh the bears are in control let's short no i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna wait for the data if i'm wrong and, and this is really going to dump against me it's gonna dump against me for just a little bit because i have my stop loss here okay guys it's the same here oh i have <laughs> written this thing yesterday <laughs> that it <laughs> yeah see this is the cmf and then we, I expect it to go back to the zero and go up. If I am right about this fifth wave here, this was what we're wave C here. A, B, C, this was this movement here. C was here. And then we have this dump. I was pretty much counting on it when I saw this expanding flat here for our wave four. Now we have this C here, waiting for it. We'll to buy some here, right? One, two, three, four, five, a little bit more. Perhaps a double bottom, guys. Perhaps a double bottom, who knows? We have a shy wave five here. So it, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be uh, crazy to start buying here at this line here at this 
the yellow line where I marked a double bottom because it would be a triple bottom. So I would start buying here. Okay, I'm gonna change it. This wouldn't make a huge impact in my my risk reward ratio because I would ladder, start laddering there. And I would stop laddering at my 50% retracement for our wave four. Okay. That is how it look, would look like. This is the double bottom, this yellow line. I will start buying there, okay, 700, uh, 7,400. And I would put, my stop loss would be the same place, 71, 7,200 if you want, okay. Yes, here we have the 50% retracement for our wave four, okay. Really easy, really uh, safe setup for us. And let's see what we have. Okay, so uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is my Bitcoin update for today. We have a crucial moment for Bitcoin and for altcoins and for everything. Yes, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Please, if you like my content, subscribe and follow me on social media. And as always, enjoy your tradings, guys. Enjoy your trades, actually. <laughs> Bye-bye. Cheers.